Let me show you how we can set up our Apple Pages document to follow MLA formatting standards. All right, let's start from the very top. Our document needs to be double spaced. Right now, on the right side in the format section, I can see I got a single spacing. So we can simply select all and change this to double. All right. So this part is done. I will delete it. Now we need to change. I'll be sure our paper is 8.1 by 11 inch. So let's head to document. And you can see my paper size is wrong. It's A4. So I'm changing A4 to US letter. 8.5 times 11. That's perfect. Okay, we got the paper right. What's next? Now we need to be sure we got exactly one inch margins all sides. So I'm changing the document margins to be exactly one inch on all sides. For the header and footer we can put half inch. All right, we are done with margins. Next step will be to set up a default font. We can use Times New Roman, Aria or Helvetica. So let's go back to format and now I'm going to select all again, common A, and I will change font to Times New Roman. The size should be from 11 to 13, so let's head with 12. I will type 12. regular one as the default. Each page must include a running header with the auto last name and page number. So head to the top and here and in the header section we can first insert the page number and in front of it type the surname. Perfect. And on the first page, you must also put author name, instructor name, curse and date of the paper. So we need to take this to the header on the left side this time. And we don't need those bullet points. The final touch for this basic setup will be to save this new style as the default one. As you can see, we make changes to the font, font size and spacing. So now we want to update the default one. So every new text that is created will be in that style. So we don't need to reformat this again and again. So click update here next to the default text. And now our default text is set up to Times New Roman size 12 and double spacing. So that will make our life easier. All right. That's how you can set up your Apple Pages document to follow MLA standards. I hope this short tutorial was helpful and I will see you in the next one.